Staying on top of a developing story, the Coast Guard spending the night searching near Key West after a boat carrying Cuban migrants capsized. CBS 4's Ted Scowen is live in Key West this morning with the details. Ted, good morning. Good morning, Maribel. Certainly a tragic trip for that boat filled with migrants trying to make their way from Cuba to Florida. Here's what we know so far. Ten people are reported missing. The Coast Guard has been searching all night. They began that search Thursday afternoon. They were able to pull eight survivors from the water. They remain on board a Coast Guard cutter out at sea. They're getting food and medical attention right now. At this point, there are two confirmed fatalities. Those bodies were brought here to Key West. Though, From what we understand, the Monroe County Sheriff's Office will conduct a death investigation. Now, this is all unfolding 16 miles south of Key West. Survivors told the Coast Guard that they left Mariel Cuba on Sunday and that their boat capsized Wednesday evening. The Coast Guard was on routine patrol in the Florida Straits Thursday when they spotted those eight survivors in the water. Sources tell CBS 4 News that those migrants were all packed onto an old 20 to 25 foot fishing boat that had just one engine. We are told it capsized in water that is 700 feet deep. At the moment this morning here in Key West, we are waiting for word as to how long that search will continue. As we said, it began Thursday afternoon, went through the night. Now we're just waiting to find out how long uh, the Coast Guard will continue to search. Meanwhile, they're asking boaters who are out in the ocean to the area south of Key West, asking them to keep their eyes open in case they spot any of those people who they're looking for in the water. Live in Key West, Ted Scouten, CBS4 This Morning.